This is the Amiga Seamaster Aquaterra 15,000 Gauss. One of the most dramatic technological innovations in recent memory is the Amiga Coaxial Calibre 8508. It is resistant to magnetic fields greater than 1.5 Tesla or 15,000 Gauss, far exceeding the levels of magnetic resistance achieved by any previous watch movement and solving a problem that has challenged watchmakers for many decades. This mechanical movement is introduced in the Seamaster Aquaterra 15,000 Gauss, a 41.5mm stainless steel coaxial chronometer presented on either a matching bracelet or a brown leather strap. It has a slightly yellowed, lacquered black dial, sun brushed from the centre and decorated with the distinctive vertical lines that define Amiga's popular Aquaterra collection. The yellow transferred legend, 15,000 Gauss, identifies the watch as a very special timepiece. The technology developed by a team of ETA, Azulab, Niverox, FAR and Amiga engineers led to the first prototype of the movement, which has been fitted in an Amiga Seamaster Aquaterra. Unlike other efforts to combat the effects of magnetism, the Amiga movement does not rely on a protective container inside the watch case, but on the use of selected non-ferrous materials in the movement itself. Several patents are pending for the new movement. Even after exposure to a magnetic field greater than 15,000 Gauss, the movement still performs at chronometric level as defined by COSC standards. Magnetism had been dealt previously with inner cases designed to limit the effect of magnetism. This approach with inner cases had some limitations, including the fact that they couldn't handle the challenge of increased strength of permanent magnets and that from an aesthetic standpoint, they block the view of the movement, thus preventing the possibility of a date window display. Because the Seamaster Aquaterra 15,000 Gauss doesn't need to be protected by an inner case, as the movement itself is anti-magnetic, it has a transparent sapphire crystal in the case back that allows full view of the coaxial calibre 8508, and there is also a date window at 3 o'clock. The Seamaster Aquaterra 15,000 Gauss is water resistant to 15 bar, which is equivalent to 150 metres or 500 feet. With the combination of its coaxial mechanical movement, its SI14 silicon balance spring, it is so reliable that it is delivered with a four year warranty. Magnetism has always been an issue for watchmakers, and magnets are now even more present in our daily lives than they have ever been before. Watchmakers have to deal regularly with the issues of magnetism as it is necessary for them to demagnetize mechanical watches whose performance has been compromised by exposure to magnetic fields, a problem that will be solved with the new movement. With the Seamaster Aquaterra 15,000 Gauss, Amiga has introduced innovative technology that will forever change the way the watchmaking industry approaches the ever-increasing challenges of magnetic fields. The key steps towards the anti-magnetic movement began in 2008, when Amiga unveiled its SI14 silicon balance spring. Silicon is an anti-magnetic element, and the incredible stability and the resistance to any sort of environmental disturbance, including magnetic fields, was the first important step towards the development of an anti-magnetic watch. Another factor that made the coaxial calibre 8508 possible was the creation of staffs and pivot points made from a non-magnetic material called Nivergauss. These include the staffs and the balance wheel, the pallet and the coaxial wheel. The steel for the coaxial plates including the pallet forks, the impulse pinion and the impulse wheel were also replaced by non-magnetic materials. And finally, the spring of the shock absorbers in the coaxial calibre 8508 is made from an amorphous metal. These innovations in combination contributed to the creation and launch of the Amiga coaxial calibre 8508, the world's first truly anti-magnetic mechanical watch movement.